Hey, what is up the best subs on YouTube? In today's video, I have the fastest way to get every single shooting badge on a new and existing build in NBA 2K20. All I'll ask you guys to do is leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Now, I'm going to show you the first way I'm going to show you is the new build. So when you make a new build, go to the prelude. Now, the first game that you play, you play it, you don't get really that much. But the second one, okay, with whatever, v whatever VC you have left over, say you have like a thousand VC, Put it all on your three-pointer. So I have a, I'm a 62 overall with a 73 point on this build at the moment in the prelude. I have 68 points. So what you want to do as soon as you shoot a three now, it's going to go in about 90% of the time. You should shoot like 80 to 90% from the three-point line. You want to try to do four fadeaway middies, four fadeaway threes, four standing middies, and then four standing threes. I reckon just do the four standing middies, fadeaway middies, and the fadeaway threes, and then just do the rest standing midi threes like this one. It's easy cash money every single time. As soon as you score the bucket, all you want to do is hold the intentionally foul button and intentionally foul every single time. So that's why I'm going to rack up. There's 35 team fouls right there. I've got 71 points, shooting 78% from the three-point line. Now, obviously, if you upgrade your player all the way to max, to an 85 with his max three ball, you can score more points. So it's up to you guys. I haven't really upgraded this player. put put 1,000 VC onto his three ball, and I just did this. As again... Fouled him, they shot the two free throws. I run up the court, go to the three-point line, shoot the three, and I hit that. Pretty easy. Keep doing that till you get to... I get like 100 plus points, as you see here, right here. 30 fouls on myself, and I got 106 points. And let's have a look at many, how much shooting rep you actually get for 106 points from 80% field goal. You get 23.962, but remember, it's times two rep and times two badge progress. So I'm going to get 46,304 which is equivalent to about three and a half badges on NBA 2K20. So you get three and a half badges with the first game. Now the second game that you can play in the prelude, I'm going to show you in a second. You can do this again. So when it's up to the draft combine game, you can do the same method as the first one. So run up the court, shoot a three, do your four fading mids, four standing mids, four standing threes, and four moving threes. Remember to make sure you shoot four from four on all them, or at least like four from five, four from six, something like that, and just do the rest standing threes. And then you do the intentionally foul, as I said last time. This one, I've got 71 points with 15 fouls. It is a pretty easy method to get your shooting badge rep on this game. That's why I like to make new builds and get this all the way done. See, I'm on a 5-7 right now showing you guys. Got a video coming up for that one. But see, I make nearly every single shot. That's 60% covered. I didn't touch my mid-range. It's like a 60 mid-range. And you keep doing that. Shoot the three. Intentionally foul. Got 81 points for Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe. 17,517, but it's times two badge progress and times two rep. So I got 35k for that one, which is one, two, two shooting badges for that one. So if you've got five shooting badges just from them two games before you go into my career, and now I'm going to show you the best my career method where I get like 20 to 30k shooting rep every single game on NBA 2K20. I'm going to show you guys also, you want to do the, what is it, the, the My Play and Nation games. You want to make sure to do the My Play and Nation games. If you do not, you'll be missing out on times two badge progress to all your badges. And I'm going to tell you guys, the setting you want to do for shooting badges, you don't want to go Hall of Fame because it's too hard to shoot on Hall of Fame. You want to go to Pro since the update, it's actually harder to hit shots. So you want to go to Pro, as i show you again, 28,300. We're going to keep showing you me racking up them shooting grades. But as I said, you want to go to Pro difficulty, 10 to 12 minutes, I'll put 8 minutes minimum. In my opinion, it's probably the least I would ever go. I've been playing five minutes because I've already got my badges on this build. So I'm going to show you how to get the badges on another build. So you've got to go pro, 10 to 12 minutes, as I said, quarter length. You can go five minutes as well. I'm going to show you another thing at the end of the video. But what? No, not another thing. So you want to do. Also, when you do the game, okay, I want to show you the background. You want to play 10 Mercury games and unlock the, the custom drills. So you can do your custom shooting drills, defensive builds, stuff like that. You want to do the hard one. So it's deep contested threes or deep, I think it's like half court threes that you shoot. And you get 750 to 800 rep for doing that one drill, which is incredible. So you get 800, so you get 3,200, man, from just doing the four drills onto your shooting badges. And if you get the, I think it's the legend bonus, which gives it times three, you're going to have the 9,600 on that one. So 9,600 shooting rep when you have the legend bonus. You also want to do the shit the coach's drill so they give you coach's drill stuff like that's times two badge progress for that one as well but in the background i'm going to show you guys what i do with a double team i pass it out pass it back and get a call for a pick and roll 
because most likely than not, like 80% of the time, they're going to back up and let you shoot the wide open three every single time. Obviously, you see me getting double teamed again. You're going to get double teamed a hell of a lot. So you want to pass it in. Make sure that bail out on if you haven't got bail out on already. Call for a pick and roll. Step back. Shoot it. Make sure you know your timing of the jump shot. It will stay wide open, but you can hit heavily contested shots in my career because you are on pro difficulty. And Hall of Fame doesn't really give you that much of a shooting badge boost, to be real with you guys. So that's why I highly recommend going to my Play Nation for the two times badge progress. So the ones you want to do, I'm going to sh keep showing the background. I'm going to show you. Half court trap. For the defensive end. And you can not, you don't even have to play defense if you don't want to because you're playing the half court trap. They're going to get a shot wide open. Sit on the half court line. They miss the shot. Anthony Davis will pass it to me and I shoot the wide open mid range or wide open three. Again, I'm going to go for quick isolation and then get a screen from Taylor Horton Tucker. Once he sets the screen, I'm going to roll to the left side and either fade away mid range it or go to the corner tap LT or L2 to get the wide open mid-range or three on the three-point line. So quick isolation again, call for the pick and roll, or you cannot even call for the pick and roll. If you know how to ISO, you can do the isolation. So the quick isolation, ISO the guard, and get the easy fadeaway mid, or the easy corner three as I show you guys right here. If you do, as I said earlier, four fadeaway threes gives you 3,200. Four fadeaway mids gives you 3,200. Four standing threes gives you 4,200. And then if you make four from four, of course, this is. That's 3,200, not 4,200, my bad. But you get 3,200 just for that. The best shooting reps are fadeaway middies, fadeaway threes, standing still mids, standing still threes. You also get stuff for free throw line shots, but they are the only five things you need to do per experience. So you get 754 per fadeaway three. About 750 for fadeaway mids. Standing threes and standing middies, you get about 640 to 650 XP per one that you make. Remember, every time you miss a shot, if your percentage goes down, so does the XP you earn per shot that you take. So you want to shoot a high percentage. As you guys can see, I'm shooting 75% from the three. I highly recommend taking off the shot meter because it will help you shoot more efficiently and more effectively from the three-point line, mid-range, etc. The badges that you want to have if you do not have them already, the badge you want to go for first, first is Hall of Fame Quick Draw, Hall of Fame Range Extender, and then you want to go for Silver Coil and a Specialist. That's all you need on NBA 2K20 to get shooting rep, and you could obviously put difficult shots on for your fadeaway mid-ranges, which will help oh, uh, tremendously as well. So that is pretty easy shooting reps so i'm going to re say this again so when you make a new player go to the prelude when you go to that second game so not the very first game you really won't get that much the second game shoot a lot of threes and then call then intentionally foul every single time your team will rack up 100 different fouls and you'll have about 100 and something points then in the draft combine game you do the exact same thing you shoot a three intentionally foul they shoot the free throws you go up shoot it again so it turns out from eight minutes it goes from eight minutes to about 30 40 minutes of gameplay and that's going to give you three to two to three badges per game that you play so you can get three five to six badges just from the prelude but you can get more from the coaches ones and stuff like that once you play 10 my career games you can do the custom drills from the shooting rep, so you're gonna go to the Gatorade facility, do your custom drills for your shooting, and then you can, when you're in the game, do fadeaway mids, fadeaway threes, standstill threes, standstill mids. I don't think you get anything for doing limitless range threes. Also, you get stuff for doing free throws, but that is today's video, man. That's how the fastest way to get shooting rep in NBA 2K20, the fastest way to get every single shooting badge in the game. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If it helped you out at all, please be sure to leave that like. It'd be greatly appreciated, man. And it helped me out so much. Thank you guys so much for 41,000. We're about to be 41,300 subscribers. We're going strong. Haters only hate on the greats. They don't hate on the lames. So that's why people hate on me. Because you guys make me great. But we've got some great entertaining content coming up. I've got carrying a 5-year-old in NBA 2K20 with a 25 win percent with no badges. That's going to be entertaining. I've got the fast way to rep up. That's going to be pretty good. I've got some wages coming up, some series stuff like that for you guys. So I've got to put it up on the channel so you guys can see me run series for what money and stuff like that. It's sort of stuff that that ties in. There's a lot of people in the community are too scared to do money wages, but I'm also I'm always down for money wages. 
because I got my set three. If you ever want to verse me, if you want to wager me at any time, hit me up on my DMs on Twitter and we can run a wager. But that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Peace out.